A key characteristic of American due process is the ability to have your case heard by an unbiased adjudicator. The court system's integrity would be diminished if cases were heard by judges with conflicts such as pecuniary interests in the cases being decided. The 1973 case of Gibson v. Berryhill applies these notions to agency proceedings. Before 1965, Alabama law allowed for any individual or business to run an optometry department. Then, the laws were repealed and amended to take out any reference to optometry departments run by businesses. The Alabama Optometric Association was a professional organization of optometrists not working for other people or companies. When the Alabama law changed, the association filed charges with the Alabama Board of Optometry against a group of optometrists working for Lee Optical Company. The association felt that these optometrists were illegally practicing optometry because they remained employed by a company after the Alabama law removed this allowance. The members of the board were all private practice optometrists in Alabama. The board was the statutory body that had the authority to issue and suspend licenses for practicing optometry in Alabama. At this point, the board was working to revoke the licenses of any optometrists in Alabama who worked for a business. The association asked the board to revoke the optometrists' licenses because violating the law meant the individuals were also violating their professional ethical responsibilities. Two days later, the board sued Lee Optical in state court. Thirteen optometrists were also listed as defendants, and the charges closely resembled the claims the association made to the board. The board's proceedings and the state court's case happened at the same time. The state trial court dismissed the individual optometrists as defendants, but enjoined Lee Optical from practicing optometry. Lee Optical appealed. When the board succeeded in state trial court, they moved forward in their own proceedings against the individual optometrists. In response, the individuals sued the board and the association in district court under the Civil Rights Act. The individuals argued that the board was biased and couldn't meet due process requirements of fair and impartial hearings. The district court enjoined the board from conducting hearings against the individuals. The board appealed the federal case to the United States Supreme Court. However, in the months leading up to the appeal, the Alabama Supreme Court reversed the state trial court's decision against Lee Optical.